move to help end gun violence by declaring a state disaster emergency. CBS 2's Hazel Sanchez explains the plan. As people were out enjoying a sunny July 4th in the Hunts Point section of the Bronx, a man casually walked along Hunts Point Avenue and opened fire on a 34-year-old man, the shooting adding to a disturbing increase in gun violence in New York City. I want to go on vacation because of gun violence every day. We went from one epidemic to another epidemic. We went from COVID to the epidemic of gun violence. This year to date, there have been 765 shootings in the city, compared to 555 shootings during the same time last year, a nearly 38% increase. Today, Governor Cuomo declared a first-of-its-kind state disaster emergency on gun violence. We want to do with gun violence what we just did with COVID. That's what we want. We want the same level of attention, the same level of energy. Cuomo's disaster plan will create a new Office of Gun Violence Prevention to treat the problem as a public health issue. Local police departments will share incident information to target gun violence hotspots. $138.7 million will be invested in prevention programs and jobs for at-risk youth. The plan will also create a new state police gun trafficking unit to stop the flow of illegal guns into New York. That's the question. How they come here? How they get here? Commissioner Shea says in combating gun violence, much of the police department's focus is on gangs. He says about half the shootings reported in New York City are gang related. I think uh, uh, the state and the country should be doing everything possible to reduce gun violence, and mostly that means getting guns out of people's hands. The governor also signed new legislation that will hold gun manufacturers accountable if their weapons cause harm. It also bans the sale of guns to people with outstanding warrants for a felony or serious offense. Hazel Sanchez, CBS 2 News. <clears throat> Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashem. Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka Kodash. This is Brother Ariyah. This is a quick cut right here. You know, Governor Andrew Cuomo declares gun violence disaster emergency, man. And this is directed primarily at Jake, man. Okay, you saw the video that they showed of the Jake uh, shooting the other uh, Jake in the back, man. Okay, so Esau is definitely, you know, going to come in like a flood, man. You know, he's definitely going to come in like a flood. And, uh, yeah, man, things are moving. Things are moving. Things are, uh, things are, you know, stirring up, man. Most high is stirring the pot right now, man. You know, he's putting the seasonings in. He's getting everything ready. He's preparing everything, man. You know, slowly but surely, but every day, something new is happening. Something new is occurring every day. And this is big right here, man. Uh, gun violence has been something that's been running rampant in New York for years now. But now, all of a sudden, he wants to declare a gun violence disaster emergency. In 2021, man. You know, these devils is, <laughs> I'm telling you, they know they got but a short time, man. So they're trying to do all that they can while they're still, while they're still in power. You know, and this, this just shows you that right here, man. You know, out of all these years, out of all these uh, gun violence incidents, now is the time that they do this. And they said they're going to treat it like they treated COVID. So you're going to see, you know, maybe a lot of shootouts with cops, a lot of a lot of uh, Jake's getting arrested. You know, they're going to be targeting gangs and things like that. And you know what? Rightfully so, man, because. I've never been into guns, man. I never owned a gun. You know, never tried, never bought a gun. Never even shot a gun before, man. I was always taught that guns were for chumps, man. You know, guns were for dudes that, that was scared, man. So, I never really, I never dealt with guns, man. 
Like I said, I never even shot a gun before. You know, I'm 41 now. I've never shot a gun in my life, man. That's just been, that's never been in me, man. It's something that I never, you know, really dealt with. I never really dealt with weaponry, period, man. Or knives or swords or nunchucks or slingshots or none of that, man. I never dealt with any of those things, man. Um, yeah, for my, you know, for the most part, I've been a, you know, pretty peaceful person my whole life, man. For the most part. But anyway, like I said, I'm not going to make this long. I'm going to go into a couple of scriptures. Okay. Hold on. Bear with me. All right. I'm going to go to Jeremiah 30 and 7. And it reads, Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. You know, and Jacob's, tri Jacob's trouble, Salakia, is fastly approaching, man. And they're not just going to do this. If they're going to do this in New York, they're going to be doing this in every major city in America, man. A lot of Jakes are going to lose their lives, man. They're going to they're going to lose their lives, man, during uh during this uh summer going into the fall and winter, man. It's going to be a lot of blood shed, a lot of blood shed in these streets. Salakia. Okay. All right, I'm going to go uh I just got a couple of scriptures, man. Not much. All right. Yeah, man, these jakes are wicked, man. This is John 8 and 44. Ye are of your father the devil, and the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own, for he is a liar and the father of it, man. Right? And all these jakes out here, they want to tote guns and want to uh, kill people, you know, shoot people. Uh, you know, you, you are of your father the devil, man. Because that's who you're trying to emulate and imitate, your father. Okay, because the blessing of the sword and weaponry was given to Esau, man. Uh, pursuant to uh, Genesis 27. Uh, 27th chapter, 40th verse, man. You know, ye are of your father the devil, man. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him, man. And that's who you guys are imitating, man. This is where you guys got your, got your ways from. Okay. Wicked, wicked Jakes, man. It's going to be a real bad time if you for all these wicked Jakes out here doing wickedness, man. You know, the devil is about to rain down on you, man. And it's all through the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. It's Isaiah 59 and 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him, man. Okay? And it's talking, you know, the enemy's going to come in like a flood, man. That's, just, that's what this is showing you right here, man. It's coming. They talking about going into the inner cities, man, and getting guns off the streets when Esau put them there in the first place. They're not talking about going to, uh, you know, middle middle America, where all where a lot of Edomites have arsenals of guns and grenades and landmines and rocket launchers and you know all types of weaponry. Nah, they ain't talking about going there. Okay, they, they talking about going to see Jake <clears throat> and 
taking their guns, man. This is a strategic move right here. It really is. There's going to be more to come uh, dealing with this matter right here. This is just the beginning. All right. I'm going to read a couple more scriptures. <clears throat> it's Jeremiah 4 and 14. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness that thou mayest be saved. How long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Okay. O Jerusalem, wash thine heart from wickedness. You know, but these, these wicked jakes, <laughs> they ain't thinking about the Lord. They don't have no fear of the Lord, man. And for that, this is why Jer Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge, man. You know, they, they, they knowledge, you know, they got knowledge to do evil. You know, they know how to, you know, take the safety off a gun, clean it, you know, take care of it, load it, unload it. You know, they know how to kill somebody with it. They know how to stick somebody up with it. You know, all you wicked jakes out here selling drugs and doing drugs and, and all types of wickedness out here. The Most High is going to come see you, man. He's going to come see you. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power, man. And you're going to see just how that feels very soon because you dudes want to be out here like you uh <laughs> like you uh cowboys and indians out here or something man you guys really think you tough carrying these guns man but these guns are for pussies man okay a gun ain't for a real man a real man don't need a gun you want to know why because a real man a real man has faith that the Most High will protect him, man. But these little boys out here have faith in, car in carnal things. These little boys out here are not spiritual, man. Okay, Jeremiah 4 and 27. For thus hath the Lord said, The whole land shall be desolate, yet will I not make a full end. For this shall the earth mourn and the heavens above be black, because I have spoken it. I have proposed it, and I will not repent, neither will I turn back from it. So all these prophecies that the Most High talks about is going to come to pass, man. You know, and there's going to be dead bodies lying in the street, man. And two-thirds of our people are going to die, man. And mark my words, man, there's going to be a lot of bloodshed out here. A lot of bloodshed, man. You see things in the works right now, man. Esau is is getting getting everything together, man. It's going to be a, it's going to be a a bloody rest of the summer, man. You know? And uh Yeah, man, just buckle up, man. Prepare yourself for the ride, man. It's going to be a bumpy one. I want to give uh, double honor to the apostles and elders a great millstone. Uh, Shalom to the whole for the luck and much respect to the brothers pushing this word in the four corners of the globe, man. It's Brother Ariel, Shalom.